This is my 54th year in, in Las Vegas. Uh, my family came here. It's a, a story I tell quite often. Um, we lived in upstate New York. My father was a waiter. Um, he was having a very hard time making a living in the early 60s. So one night he put my sister and I and the dog in the back seat of the car, parents in the front seat, everything we owned was in a U-Haul, hooked up to the back bumper, drove across country. My dad had a letter of introduction to get a job as a waiter in Southern California. We got to Hoover Dam. We decided to stop in Vegas for the night. We never left. Uh, we, uh, my father, uh, you know, went down to the Culinary Union. They sent him out to the Old Sands Hotel. By the time my father um, retired, he was the longest serving employee at the Sands Hotel. When we first got to town, um, I was uh, 12 years old. It was the early 60s. And my mother, of course, realized that we needed a doctor. So she took me to Dr. Medaber, um, and, and she was my doctor from the time I was about 13 until I left for Congress. I grew up in a family where doctors were considered gods. Um, and so I always had that belief that uh, doctors are healers and lifesavers. Ran for the Nevada State Assembly um, while I was pregnant with my first son. And so I measure everything by Max's age. You know, that was pre-Max or post-Max. Um, had my second son, Sam. Uh, and and then uh, was appointed to the Board of Regents and then ran two years later and had a full term of my own. Always knew I was going to law school, wanted to make a difference, always knew I was going to run for office. Congress was uh, where I really wanted to be. Had what, 14 wonderful years um, with a very, very supportive family. The people of Nevada are very lucky uh, when it comes to the quality of uh, the health care providers in this state. I think the problem is we just don't have enough of them. But it wasn't until I got to Congress and I was on the Ways and Means Committee Health Care Subcommittee that uh, health care became um, a major issue for me. I introduced GME legislation to expand GME. It was contained in the health care bill, the uh, Obamacare, um, that was passed out of the House. It was omitted in the Senate bill. We did our job in the House, and now we're in the position that we are now. At that time, and that's going back a few years, there were 600,000 uninsured Nevadans. Now, it doesn't mean that they don't get sick. People without insurance get sick and their primary care provider becomes the emergency rooms of all of our hospitals. In those days, uncompensated care was crippling many of our hospitals throughout the state of Nevada. She had tremendous influence over health care throughout the United States as well as Southern Nevada. She was always available to uh, organize medicine, uh, always acted in the best interests of the patients of Southern Nevada. Uh, she was a joy to work with then, uh, and even more of a joy to work with now. I'm a believer in public service. I think it's the most noble thing that any citizen can do. So what do you do when you no longer have an office to provide public service to your fellow citizens, but still have that passion to serve? If anyone would have told me I'd be running not one medical school, but two medical schools, I would tell them, I would have told them a few years ago, they were out of their minds. Uh, I thought that they were going to ask me, the Turo people were going asked me to be on a search committee to select the new CEO. You could have uh, knocked me over with a feather when he asked where wonder or he said we're wondering if you'd be interested in the job. We certainly have appreciated the collaboration that we have with Toro University and the Valley Health System, particularly Valley Hospital and with Shelley as a leader it has really advanced the programming for graduate medical education within our system but I think also on a broader scale, really advanced healthcare in the Las Vegas community. Nobody can say no to Shelley Berkeley. And I think it's a testament, frankly, to her generosity and the support that she has given to so many people that in return, they feel compelled to want to give back to whatever the cause is that Shelley is, is calling upon. Um, but nobody says no to Shelley Berkeley. She has been a phenomenal fundraiser. 
I suppose that carries over well from her political life. She's had, uh, we've had uh, a huge amount of money coming in here since Shelley has arrived. Uh, and it's uh, expanded programs, increased scholarships. It's been a huge benefit to have her here. And we're continuing to build here. She's been wonderful. She's a terrific leader and the best people person I've ever seen. Congratulations, Shelley. As a friend, a colleague, and a mentor, I am so proud of you and this award is so well deserved. Our mother served the local community for over 40 years in the political realm. And when she was finally finished, she could have chosen anything to do with her time, but she chose to do the most admirable thing possible, and that's to train our future doctors, nurses, and all medical staff. And it's an honor to be her son. On top of all of your professional accomplishments, Mom, you continue to be a wonderful mother who balances her work life with her family life. And we're very thankful for all you do for both of us, as well as our entire family. We love you. Mazel tov, Mom.